Hello, royal enthusiasts. We have an explosive story for you today, as none other than King Charles III has reportedly clashed with his godson and stepson, Tom Parker Bowles, in a monumental scandal that has left many stunned. Sources suggest that this intense altercation resulted in King Charles kicking Tom out of Buckingham Palace after a heated argument involving the Princess Royal, Princess Anne. This incident has not only raised eyebrows but also demonstrated just how fragile King Charles's trust in both his wife, Queen Camilla, and his stepson may be. Get ready, because this is a royal family drama like no other. Over the years, King Charles's relationship with his sister, Princess Anne, has only strengthened, especially through some of the most challenging moments in their lives. Princess Anne, known for her unwavering commitment to royal duties, has consistently been a prominent and hard-working figure in the royal family. However, recent revelations have indicated that Princess Anne, along with her brothers Prince Edward and Prince Andrew, will not inherit anything from their late mother, Queen Elizabeth II. The reasoning behind this decision is reportedly rooted in a historical strategy dating back to 1862, aimed at minimizing inheritance taxes within the royal family, ensuring the monarchy's financial stability for future generations. According to reports, Queen Elizabeth's personal fortune, estimated to be around £370 million, is expected to be passed entirely to King Charles III, bypassing his siblings altogether. This decision, although practical from a tax efficiency standpoint, has come as a shock to many, particularly given Princess Anne's tireless service to the royal family. By transferring the entirety of the estate to the next reigning monarch, the royal family can avoid the hefty tax burden that would apply if the wealth were divided among multiple heirs. This tax exemption is a long-standing tradition, designed to preserve the monarchy's wealth. While this decision might seem particularly harsh for Princess Anne, who has been a stalwart of public service, it underscores the practical need to preserve the monarchy's financial stability. Despite her visible role and heavy workload, the logic of protecting the royal family's wealth has taken precedence. Princess Anne, always dedicated to her royal duties, remains focused on her service, though this revelation may have added a new layer of complexity to the family dynamics. The royal family is clearly prioritizing its future, but the emotional impact on Princess Anne is yet to be fully understood. To make matters even more complicated, Queen Consort Camilla has also found herself taking a step back from royal duties due to exhaustion. With Princess Catherine facing her own emergency and Prince William occupied with supporting her, the royal family has been left with a reduced schedule and an increased reliance on Camilla. However, her recent break from duties has only highlighted the strain that the family is under. This situation has also raised questions about who will take on more responsibilities within the royal circle, especially in the absence of key figures like Queen Camilla and Princess Catherine. Queen Camilla reportedly suggested that her son, Tom Parker Bowles, step in to cover some of the royal functions during this challenging time. However, this idea was swiftly shut down by King Charles himself, who made it clear that only he has the authority to make decisions about royal appointments. The king's decisive response demonstrated that he would not allow his wife to influence such important matters, especially when it involved someone without the necessary experience. This monumental clash between King Charles and Tom Parker Bowles has led to speculation that the king may exclude his stepson from future royal activities altogether. Now, as King Charles becomes the primary inheritor of the late Queen Elizabeth's vast estate, the consolidation of properties, investments, jewelry, and personal assets will ensure that the monarchy remains financially stable. This strategic move avoids the fragmentation of wealth that could occur if it were distributed among multiple heirs. While Princess Anne's lack of inheritance may seem unfair to some, it highlights the complexities of managing royal finances and the difficult decisions that are made to protect the monarchy's future. As the royal family navigates these significant changes, the effects on the relationships between the late Queen's children and King Charles remain to be seen. With tensions running high and internal struggles coming to the forefront, the dynamics within the royal family are bound to shift. How these decisions will impact the future of the monarchy, and the relationships between key family members, is something royal watchers will be keeping a close eye on. Stay tuned for more updates on this developing story.